Looking for a TV series that's part comedy, part action, and all around entertaining? Look no further than Sledgehammer. This 1986 show follows the antics of its titular character, a tough as nails cop with a penchant for over the top violence and a knack for finding trouble. But don't let his rough exterior fool you beneath the surface, there's a heart of gold. Throughout the series, viewers are treated to a mix of funny, shocking, and even touching moments that keep them coming back for more. From outrageous stunts to unexpected plot twists, Sledgehammer delivers laughs and thrills in equal measure. So, if you're ready for a wild ride filled with laughs, shocks, and maybe even a few tears, keep watching because there's plenty more where that came from. Out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? Or can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In the vibrant world of 1980s TV, there emerged a character who stood out for being unconventional and memorable. Meet Sledgehammer, a TV series that mixed action, humor, and satire in a unique way. Imagine a tough cop who prefers shooting first and asking questions later. He's the type who thinks using a grenade to defuse a bomb is a reasonable idea. But underneath his tough exterior, there's a softer side buried under layers of macho behavior and absurdity. Sledgehammer Debuted in 1986, a time when TV was filled with predictable cop shows and sitcoms. But this show was different. It embraced its own silliness, enjoying exaggerated action scenes and playful humor. It was a refreshing change in a sea of formulaic TV. Despite its unusual style, Sledgehammer connected with audiences, becoming a beloved classic that still has fans today. Its influence can be seen in other action comedy mixes and satirical views on law enforcement. What makes Sledgehammer stand out is its boldness. It wasn't afraid to push TV's limits, urging viewers to enjoy the absurd and ridiculous. So, whether you're a longtime fan or new to Sledgehammer, one thing's for sure this cop isn't afraid to bend the rules, even if it means causing a few explosions along the way. Before its run, creator Alan Spencer recorded a message urging television critics to watch the show despite airing along with more popular primetime programs. The producers were so convinced the show would be cancelled that they closed the first season with Sledge accidentally destroying the city. When the show received a surprise renewal, the second season was set five years before the explosion. A comic book based on the series was produced by Marvel. It was discontinued after two issues. David Rash, who portrayed the character Sledgehammer, maintained his on-screen persona during breaks by engaging with a 44 Magnum prop, demonstrating a commitment to his role. His dedication to staying in character added an interesting dynamic to the filming process. Despite the tense relationship between Sledgehammer and Captain Trunk on the show, off-screen David Rash and Harrison Page, who played Captain Trunk, developed a genuine friendship. Rash shared on the DVD of the show that, contrary to the fictional tension, he and Page remain good friends, maintaining contact to this day. In a notable revelation, Rash described his co-star, Anne-Marie Martin, as a great kisser. This candid insight offers a glimpse into the camaraderie and chemistry among the cast members during the production of the show in 1986. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes provide a glimpse into the interpersonal dynamics among the cast, shedding light on the off-camera relationships that contributed to the success of the show. The TV series Sledgehammer from 1986 faced some interesting challenges during its development. The producers initially wanted to use Peter Gabriel's song Sledgehammer as the theme, but the rights were too costly. The pilot didn't impress the test audience at first, leading ABC to add a laugh track for a second screening, which improved ratings. Despite protest, ABC insisted on keeping the laugh track initially, only to remove it halfway into the first season. In one episode titled All Shook Up, a scene featuring Elvis One was shot at the old Selznick studio backlot, the same spot where scenes from Gone with the Wind were filmed, Oddly, the character Dare was named after Olivia de Havilland's son Bo in the film. In the series, Norman Blates, portrayed by Kirk Paul, makes appearances, a nod to the character Norman Bates from Psycho. Paul, who was Anthony Perkins' stunt double in Psycho Roman 2 and Psycho Roman 3, and also featured in Psycho 4 The Beginning and Bates Motel, takes on the role. Sledgehammer is known for rarely shooting, with only one instance in which he accidentally shoots someone off camera. Usually, he aims at objects or disarms villains by shooting their guns. 
Originally penned in 1976 by Alan Spencer, the pilot script parodied Dirty Harry and its sequels. Networks initially rejected it, expressing concerns over its violence. However, after the success of Sudden Impact, interest grew, leading to the eventual production of the series. The pilot of the TV series Sledgehammer was initially developed for HBO by Leonard Stern, the producer of Get Smart. Stern suggested Alan Spencer's script for the show, which had been circulating for some time. HBO wanted either Rodney Dangerfield or Joe Piscopo, both under contract to play the lead role, but Spencer disagreed. Best known for her role as Detective Dory Doro on the police sitcom aired in 1986. Some creators of Police Squad felt competitive with the show and launched the Naked Gun films, blending elements of both the show and Get Smart. In Sledgehammer, David Rash enjoyed eating sushi fish on a hoji bun, though others found it disgusting. Initially, the first 13 episodes featured canned laughter, but starting with episode 14, State of Sledge, the laugh track was removed, as creator Alan Spencer strongly opposed its use. Spencer wrote the role of Sledgehammer with Rash in mind, despite never seeing him perform, based solely on his picture and reviews of his stage work. Due to Spencer's ownership rights, the DVD release of the series omits canned laughter from those initial episodes. Sledgehammer was a TV series in 1986. In 1992, New Line Cinema discussed making a film version with its creator, Alan Spencer. They wanted it to parody Lethal Weapon, but Spencer refused. Instead, New Line made Loaded Weapon 1. The DVD release of Sledgehammer was a hit worldwide. It brought new attention to the series and boosted the careers of David Rash and Alan Spencer. In Episode 7, All Shook Up, there was a joke about the show Mr. Belvedere. This caused a feud between the two shows. The feud even reached The Tonight Show, where Bob Euchre made a joke about Sledgehammer. This led Spencer to insult Belvedere in a later episode. Premiering in 1986 as a TV series, Sledgehammer burst onto screens with its unique blend of action and humor. In one memorable episode titled All Shook Up, the main character, alongside his trusty mutt, delivered an unforgettable Elvis-style performance, complete with gyrating hips and crooning vocals. Interestingly, David Rash, who starred in the show, wrote the song's lyrics, crafting a medley of generic love-themed phrases that had viewers both laughing and tapping their toes. But it wasn't just the musical antics that made the show stand out. The opening credits themselves were a masterpiece of parody, taking inspiration from scenes of Magnum Force and giving them a hilarious twist. Close-ups of Dirty Harry's 44 Magnum were replaced with our hero's signature weapon, adding a touch of comedic flair to the homage. Of course, the brilliance of the show extended beyond its musical numbers and clever nods to classic movies. At its core, Sledgehammer was a tongue-in-cheek satire of the tough cop genre, with the protagonist embodying all the over-the-top machismo of his counterparts while simultaneously subverting their tropes with his bumbling antics. And the connections didn't end there. In a curious twist of fate, David Rash, known for his role in the series, later appeared in Clint Eastwood's acclaimed film Flags of Our Fathers, showcasing the versatility of talent that the show helped bring into the spotlight. In the end, Sledgehammer left a memorable impression on television history, blending humor, action, and parody in a way that few shows have managed to replicate. Its influence continues to endure, a reflection of the creativity and wit of the minds behind it.